hello and welcome back once again to my channel today i'm gonna make this video because it has been requested by quite a few people then i said why not so i'm gonna throw that down i'm gonna show you the easy and quickest way to make the best and delicious shito so for my ingredients these are some dry pepper which i've blended i have some black black peppercorn and some rosemary and my maggie cubes and this are herring which is emane and also this is some shrimp powder it's omonko and i blended that these are also i have some medium size of tomato paste here and i also have some beef because i'm gonna pop some beef in there so i cut them into smaller pieces oil of preference i'm going for coconut oil because trust me it pops some flavors in there and i have my habanero pepper i have some garlic four of them and i have five thumb size of ginger and i have my white and red onions or shallot also here so you need just this for shito trust me it's very easy than you think so to start i'm gonna cook my beef so it's well cooked so my beef is done cooking so i'm gonna strain all the moisture from it and set it aside do not throw it because we're gonna add it together to blend the onion and ginger and garlic and all so i'm gonna fry my beef so it's hard and crispy you have to make sure that it is very hard and dry there's no moisture in there because we're gonna save our shuttle we're making a long lasting shuttle so please don't forget that so this is the oil i use to fry the beef i'm gonna set that aside for later so let's start with our shuttle i'm gonna blend my onions and my habanero and pepper the ginger and garlic I'm gonna throw that in the blender and I'm also gonna add my black peppercorn and my rosemary in there and this is the water from the beef so I'm just gonna add that to it also and just blend it So make sure you blend it well so it's all well blended. Now one trick to making shuttle easy and quick way. I'm gonna strain all the moisture from it so that it will help speed up the cooking process. Trust me, if you cook your shuttle this way, it's not gonna waste time. So we're gonna set this aside. Do not throw it because we're gonna use it later on. So I pop my coconut oil in there or kube angwa <laughs> yeah and now I'm just gonna add my blended ingredients together and then I'll just stir that so it's well mixed you see how fast it goes so this uh, you don't have to waste time to cook the, the onion first to just dehydrate it to just dehydrate it before adding it to the oil you can just do that right away by straining all the moisture from it and shit one needs a lot of attention so bear that in mind you have to constantly check up and stir so the oil has start settling on top which indicate that our onion mixture is done so here i added my tomato paste to it I'm not using um, fresh tomatoes because it have a lot of juice in there so the quickest way is to use uh, the tomato paste now I'm adding the water from the blended ingredients to help cook the tomatoes and be gentle be careful when you add it because it starts splashing so we're gonna cook it so our tomatoes is cooked and brownish and 
and at this point you can add your salt also to it if you haven't done so but I didn't because I, I put a lot of salt when I was cooking the beef and also the herring or emane also have some salt in that so you have to be careful now I'm adding my dry ingredients so my pepper goes in first and I'll just stir it so it's well mixed and now the herring also goes in there this is what is gonna turn the shuttle darker and then the shrimp powder also goes in this is what shuttle is about so it's not as difficult as you think it is very easy and quicker than you think so if you use this process trust me it's gonna go great and very fast so here I added my maggi cubes in there or any cube of your choice you can add it to it and still it is well incorporated and this time our meat goes in there and I'll also stir that so it's well mixed and the oil I use to fry my beef also goes in there because don't forget shito requires a lot of oil so just don't forget to keep that in mind so I'm just gonna stir it and it tastes amazing and my whole kitchen smells so great oh my god it tastes amazing trust me So believe it or not, our shuttle is almost done, yes, just as quick and easy as this. So now I turn my heat off because our shuttle is done and once it's done, please set it aside to cool down first before you put it in your glass to store it for mat because shuttle can last very long. So I just hope this video was helpful and I hope you will try it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching. Bye.